Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing well and that you're having a great day. In this one I'll be showing you some weird tracks that were discovered on Mars many years ago. I featured them about three years ago on my channel. Didn't get many views back then because I didn't have many subscribers. So I thought I'd feature it now in this video. So we're looking at virtually identical tracks discovered in Mojave in a region called Hydaspis Chaos. The high-rise photograph we're analyzing in this one is called Alluvial Fans in Mojave Crater. Did it rain on Mars? Acquired on the 14th of November 2006 at 27.4 centimeters per pixel. And I'll be showing you images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file just under 350 megabytes in size. The low res color reveals these gullies and it looks like there was plenty of water flow in this area in the distant past. The site we're looking at is located right there folks at 7 degrees 37 minutes north, 32 degrees 40 minutes west. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies that are discovered close by towards the end of the video as well. And by the looks of it, NASA is really interested in this area. Check out the multiple scans and photographs taken of that site. The objects and tracks that we'll be checking out located right there. This is a zoomed out view. And there it is at one to one scale. You can see the two similar parallel tracks over here and the two arced tracks over there. Let's zoom in and check those close up. So we've got the two straight paths there and the two arcs running across there. In both cases of here, yeah, we're looking at two narrow objects of similar shape that left those tracks. And then it looks like the one that traveled down here yeah, took a right angle up towards the top and it's located right there. It's a strange square shape object there. And in this case, can't find what left that track. So how is this possible, folks? We've got the two parallel tracks there and then the two similar arc tracks there. So I'd expect if these are boulders that they roll down in the same direction. But here we've got two that did that and then two that left these arc patterns. How does that happen in nature? It's really weird. And it looks like they set off on their destinations at the same time or virtually the same time as well. So let's have a chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of these. And uh, it could be natural, it could be boulders that roll down this edge of here. But how come they left these types of tracks? Geometry and symmetry going on here again, folks. Right, let's head off to the equator to this site in Mojave. And there's a look at those tracks that were left. Well, let's zoom out and down to the south. This is where I discovered this strange saucer shaped object. Looks like a typical flying saucer, doesn't it? It's got this disc and dome on top shaped to it. And I found a similar one, same size and shape, up in the northern mid latitudes of Mars. Let's check that out as well. It's 
up in the northern mid latitudes. And there's the other one, guys. Check out the similarities between those two. Same size and shape. So let's return to that site in Moyawe. A bit further down to the south. It says we are discovered what looks like a structure partially covered in sand and debris. And there's an outline of what looked like pipes on the surface. So more strange anomalies at the equator of Mars. We don't find many, but when we do, they're really mind-blowing. So what are we looking at here? Some type of vehicles or craft that left those tracks, or is it purely natural geology? Thank you for watching. Give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Let's have a chat in the comments below. Until the next video, take care. See you then. Cheers for now.